I've done experiments before where one piece of wire, one wavelength long, if bent a certain way, offered some directivity. That could potentially be useful for nulling out interference. The forward gain wasn't very much, but the null could be useful if you're operating in a location where you might be wanting to fire over the water in that direction, but you've got lots of houses and buildings and interference in the other direction. Today, I'll try such an antenna. I've chosen a spot part way along the pier so that no matter what configuration I have, the antenna is always over water for its entire length. It's just after 7am, around now or a bit later should be optimum for long path to the USA. I've put up the vertical section now the sloping section. Tuning across 20 metres. I've got the volume control at 12 o'clock position on the 817, and you can hear a fair amount of noise. Not a lot of signals. Now just tuning around, this time the wire is pointing towards the land. So hopefully there's a bit of a null. I've again got the volume in the 12 o'clock position. and I'll now tune across the band. Well, not sure about the noise, it might be slightly lower hard to tell but there's certainly more signals all right you're right the qsl so you x-ray w2vp 73 Dennis. hey very good i ran into cotton a couple of times and not you it's a um, amateur radio station so you can talk to people all over the world mm. and and being over the water helps a lot uh, yeah. Now I'm going to do a test. I'm listening to W1AW, the ARRL station, on 14047.5. I've got the wire sloping inland, away from Long Path, which is over the water. I'll now just move the wire and see if that changes reception. I've just got the volume in the 12 o'clock position.
Okay, now walking past and now going to go in the other direction. put it back to where it was. Just using the Whisper Beacon app. The thing about Whisper is there is actually much to do while it's transmitting. and two minutes can seem a long time. But what I'll do, I'll send three bursts with the wire that way, and then another three bursts with the wire this way. When I get home, I'll compare the results. Just got home and scanning WhisperNet and lots and lots of spots. Everything you see on the screen, and scrolling a bit down, is just one spot at 2046 UTC and similarly you scroll down lots 2044 then 2042 then there's the gap um, 2036 2034 and 2032 that gap was when I changed the direction of the antenna over Mostly United States, a bit of Asia, and even some lines going to, looks like the Canary Islands of Africa. This map's a bit misleading because it always shows the short path, even though it's likely to be long path to the US. Interestingly, it's almost all to the east coast of the US and a little bit inland, nothing on the west. This is about four hours later, but if we go back four hours, the daylight overlay will be around here. So roughly lining up with the stations that detected my signal. And meanwhile, for me, it would have been around here. Darkness in that direction, daylight in this direction. 
So again, the grey line would have been closer to me. I've gone to Whispernet, looked at the data on stations that have received my signal, and then did a lot of retyping to put them into a spreadsheet. You can see that you've got call signs down the left and the sessions that I was transmitting across from left to right. And I first of all looked at those from the United States. They're roughly between 68 and 89 degrees. That's important that that's short path. So add 180 to that and long path around 260 degrees. So pretty close to west. Now, first of all, I started with the wire antenna favoring east, the null towards the west. And that's the first three times that I was transmitting whisper. Then the little gap, and then I reversed it so that the antenna favored west. Now, if we scroll down to all the stations, you can see that if you look at the last three columns, a lot more detected my signal when it was favoring west compared to east. And not only that, but for the first three, only in only three instances, did stations receive my signal on all six times that I attempted it. And so I averaged the signal strengths when it was favoring east and then west and looked at the difference. And it was around six, seven dB most of the time. So a significant appreciable difference. And that was in favor of the wire facing west. Or should I say the beam width of the antenna facing west. The wire was actually sloping towards the east. So that was pretty conclusive for the United States, which was the main path. Now, what about other paths to the west? There were some other stations that fitted that category, like VK5 and VK6. Um, a couple of VK6s, again, about 6 dB to the west um, in favour and VK5 ARG a bit smaller around 4 dB. Now New Zealand is a bit different. That's short path from between uh, here and New Zealand angle of around 98 to 108 degrees or 114 degrees in, in one case. And here, I was getting better results and more stations with the antenna main lobe favoring east. So that was an instance where reversing the antenna improved my signals in that direction. Then there are stations to the north. Uh, I, I, um, there was a cluster of stations at Taiwan that detected my signal and in that case that was better with the antenna favoring west but bearing in mind the lobe is very broad so north was you know probably okay for that although interestingly there are a few stations in hong kong um, slightly different angles but not much and that seemed to favor the antenna to the favoring the east but not very many stations so probably not a very good sample size uh, for vk4s that was a bit like taiwan where it favored the antenna to the uh, favoring to the west uh, vk2 at 48 degrees there's only one spot from there but that favored the antenna going to the east like New Zealand that's just on the screen just above it. So there you have it. I used two methods. I compared the signal to noise ratios 
as well as the number of stations detecting my signal and especially in the United States it was unambiguously better that the wire antenna was proving to be directional. So definitely this experiment is showing that what you saw on the antenna modeling and in my previous video is demonstrated again with this experiment.